Hey guys, Sam from Mamphers Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give me a summy. They are free. So I have decided to come on today to catch you up on all things crochet. Yes, every Friday here at Mamphers Makes it is time for crochet catch up. And Mantha gave herself the day off last Friday, so I need to do double bubble. Yes, two lots of crochet catch up for you today. Yes, I am in my pyjamas. This is a cosy crochet catch up today because quite frankly, I'm tired. <laughs> but I'm sure you won't mind. This isn't the only video on my channel of me in my pyjamas. Anywho, you're not here to hear about that. You want to see all the stuffs, right? So... Where am I going to start? Okay, let's go back in time. So, not last week, because I had the day off, but the week before, I discovered that I had fallen behind on Tunisian Tuesdays, which meant that I had two stitches to catch up on. By last week, I had caught up on them, but I didn't do my catch up, so you are yet to see them. Now, little bit of a confession normally i do a complete washcloth of the tunisian stitch featured but this time i did not and i will get into that in just a second now tunisian tuesdays they are hosted by the wonderful linan over at nina's knots crochet if you are not familiar click that link down in the description box go over say hi watch her cool cool stuff do the subscribe the like comment all of the things and um I'm sure she would really appreciate it. But yes, every Tuesday, Lenan is teaching us a new Tunisian stitch. And it is one of my goals, no, one of my 24 goals for 2024 to revisit Tunisian. And I have been doing this for as long as Lenan's been doing this this year. Um, Lenan's tutorials are very clear, very easy to understand, um, very thorough. And um, she goes through it with you a few times just to make sure that you are comfortable. Now, for both of these that I'm going to show you, I did do the, um, oh, I've forgotten the term. Sorry, Linan, brain fart. Like I said, I'm tired. I didn't just chain and work into the back bumps of the chain. I did the actual foundation row for Tunisian. Um, and I didn't need to cast off in pattern because I didn't make a whole washcloth and they will be frogged. Now, there are two reasons for this. One, I am now drowning in washcloths. <laughs> and two, didn't particularly enjoy either of the two that I'm going to show. And I'm so sorry. That is not a reflection on Linan at all. But one of them is bobbles, and I don't like bobbles in traditional crochet, and I certainly don't like them in Tunisian crochet. And the other one was the brickwork stitch, and um, it was colour changing, and I just really do not like how the colour changes are done in Tunisian. I'm sorry, Lenan. I tried to put my heart and soul into it. I got a few rows in, and I just thought, enough's enough, because I wasn't going to keep it anyway. I did enough to showcase that I did give it a go, um, but it will be frogged and the yarn will be used for other things. And on top of that, Lenan, my wonderful Tunisian teacher, I am now declaring my Tunisian adventure over. I feel that I have done enough of your stitches to truly say that I have revisited Tunisian. Because my crochet time is so limited now, I want to concentrate on the projects that I want to get done and have to get done and have committed to getting done. Um, if that makes me a cop out, then yes, my name is Sam and I am a cop out. Um, but I've been doing this for several weeks now and I am happy with the progress that I have made in my Tunisian stitching. Um, I really, really had fun joining in at joining along with Lenan um but yeah Tunisian's just not for me guys I have tried and I have tried some of them were okay but none of them ignited a spark in me where I wanted to make bigger items with them um it's just not my thing and not everything can be your thing right and I always pride myself on being honest on this channel I am not 
downplaying Lenan or her skills or her abilities at all. She is phenomenal. And if you guys are joining in along with her, please do carry on. Carry on for me because I just don't have it in me. Um, and you know what? I look forward to still seeing everything that people are doing with this Tunisian series of Lenans. But for me, my journey ends here. Lenan, I hope you can forgive me. Like I said, I have enjoyed my time working along with you, but now it's my time to bow out and I hope you understand. Um, you have made me achieve one of my 24 goals for 2024 and I am super thankful for that. You are still a very near and dear friend of mine and I will still be cheerleading you from the sidelines. I just won't be one of your pupils anymore. And like I said, I hope you understand. Nothing personal, nothing mean, just... I have to prioritise and unfortunately Tunisian is a lot lower on the list than a lot of other things. So that's my that's my honesty coming in. So let me show you what I did manage to do. So the Tunisian bobble stitch, I pulled out this cone of dishy. It is a worsted weight, silver, 760 yards, 400 grams and it is a worsted four weight, 100% cotton machine wash coal tumble dry low um it was in my stash there's still quite a bit on there as you can see lovely silver color and i did the tunisian bobble stitch but like i said i am not a bobble fan in traditional crochet and i certainly wasn't a fan in tunisian but there is the little swatch sample that i did as you can see the bobbles aren't really poking forward like they should I don't know if it's a tension thing. I, it's probably a me thing. I don't know. Um, but there we go. I gave it a go, guys. There's a big enough swatch to say that I practiced enough to be able to be familiar with it. But yeah, no, I will be frogging this and using the cotton for something else. But um, yeah, Tunisian bobble stitch. Tick done and dusted thank you so much Lenan. and then the next one the tunisian brickwork stitch i was looking at my phone to remind myself because it was two weeks ago i did this now nearly so you know um for both i should say i am using my six millimeter tunisian hook that i got in a set inexpensive set from amazon not sponsored or affiliated and in fact these were a gift from mike and I've used this stitch for all of the stitches and the washcloths I have made in this series. I then picked two colours of Shepia's, I think it's Callista, but I don't have a yarn band with me. I chose hot pink and orange, that's probably not the colour names because again I don't have the yarn band. But yes, bright pink, bright orange, love that colour combination. Um, again, 100% cotton, really super soft, really yummy. Um, highly recommend that cotton, guys. It is a little splitty, but nothing you can't handle. Here is my brickwork stitch, guys, my little sample. So as you can see, again, I did just enough to be able to say that I was familiar enough with the technique and how to do it. But I just, I could not, I could not handle this colour changing on the back. These floats or whatever they're called is just not my bag guys I could not handle that so again this one will be frogged and the yarn will be repurposed into something else but there you go Lenan your pupil did do the other two um, but like I said this is where my Tunisian journey ends but I do feel confident that I have done enough to be able to achieve that goal for 2024 couldn't have done it without Lenan. She was the one that gave me the motivation and the inspiration because if left to my own devices, I would have kept putting it off and kept putting it off and kept putting it off. It seemed like fate when Lenan started that segment. Um, so I pulled up my big girl pants and I ran with it. But now I need to sit and rest and do other things. And like I said, I hope you understand Lenan. But go check her out. Go join in. Go, go see all the wonderful content she has over there. I highly, highly recommend Lenan. She is a wonderful friend of mine. I love you loads, Lenan, but I'm having to take a step back now. Okay. Right. So that is the Tunisian Tuesday element that I needed to catch you up on. 
Um, by the end of that week, I had also finished the super secret project that I am making for Christina Bella Uncinetto. It's not secret to you guys, but it's secret to her because this is probably like the fourth time I've had to text her saying, please don't watch tomorrow's video. So she's not going to be watching because she's been pre-warned. And then, then there will be no more video bans because I'm done making things for Christina for a little while. Um, and I actually have two Christina makes to show. So you may remember this little guy here, the Cupid Piglet crochet pattern. And it's from Hobie. It is a free pattern. I will link it down below. Now, Christina has a very personal story behind um, the pig with wings, the flying pig. Not, not essentially a cupid, but just a flying pig. That is her story to tell, not mine. She has shared it on her channel. She has shared it on lives. But I am not going to rehash it because I will not do it justice. And it is up to Christina to tell those that she wishes when she wishes. But this is going to mean a lot to her for many, many different reasons. And those of you that know the story of the flying pig, you know exactly what it means. So afraid it's a if you know, you know kind of situation. Um, but yes, the last time I showed him, I had made his head, his body and legs. He still needed arms. He still needed the wings and he still needed the heart shorts. So yes, he had the head, the nose, the ears and the little bit of hair at the top, his body and his legs. I've now done the shorts with the hearts on, the arms and the wings. So are you ready to meet my version of the Cupid Piglet? Because I put a twist on it. Christina's favourite colour is blue. So yes, I made a blue piglet, okay? <laughs> and I also, I don't think I showed you the colours that I was going to make the rest of it with. Maybe I did, I can't remember. But he is done and he is super cute and adorable. He actually reminds me of a cuter version of the pigs in Angry Birds, if any of you are familiar. Um, but he is super cute and I hope she is going to love him um, how I think she's going to love him. I'm sure she will. But, um, but yeah, it was lovely to make this for her. There was a lot of love in every stitch because I know the meaning behind it. I know that she will know the meaning behind it. And I am super proud how he turned out. I made him out of cotton as well, scraps of cotton from my cotton toe. Are you ready to meet him in his full glory? Here he is, guys. He's done. Isn't he cute? Now, the camera isn't doing him justice. He is much cuter in real life. But the lighting is a little bit shabby tonight because it is getting late and the sun is going down. But yes, he is done. I did the hearts in like a tealy turquoisey blue. I did his shorts in a pale yellow and I did his wings in white. He does have blue glittery eyes to kind of tie in with the blue theme, seeing as it's her favourite colour. But I just think he is absolutely adorable. That little... That little hair tuft at the top, his little blushy cheeks, absolutely gorgeous. There's the back of him. Excuse my sewing. My sewing is not my strongest suit, but it's homemade. And if there are a few wobbles and wonks, then that just makes it even more special because there won't be another one made exactly the same, right? It is unique. Oh, that's a good picture of his eyes. Look, that's cute. So, yes. The Cupid Piglet is done for Christina. Now, if you don't know Christina, her channel is Bella Uncinetto. I will, of course, put that link down in my description box as well. Please go and check her out. She is fantabulous. She is one of my bestest Yarny friends um, and my Yarny sister. We actually share a birthday. We are actual birthday twins. Um, we have exciting plans a little bit later in the year which we cannot wait for, but you will have to find out a little bit later on. Um, and her content is amazing. She is American, but she is currently in Italy. She's just fabulous. I could go on about her for hours, but I'm not gonna because we have quite a bit to get through today. But there is the Cupid Piglet, isn't he? So adorable. 
and there is a little bit of a side size reference he is petite but cute there he is so i hope she loves him i'm sure she will now for him i used my four millimeter clover which is no longer in my notions pouch so that made me look a little bit silly but that's okay it was definitely my four millimeter clover more which is the purple one and like i said i just plucked some cottons out of my cotton tote there is the yellowy color and it's drops muscat there is the tealy blue no label i only have a smidgy bit of that light blue left i nearly got rid of a scrap but not quite and there is some white as well the um light blue is drops muscat as well it's 100 percent cotton and it's mercerized cotton um they just have numbers for the colors they recommend a four millimeter needle there is no hook they are 50 grams 1.8 ounces 100 meters or 109 yards and that's really all I can tell you about that. So those two are drops muscat and these are just random cottons that I've got in my stash. So there you go. And it will be Christina's um, obligation to name him once she receives him. So there is that little cutie patootie. So that's an FO, a proper FO. I can't really count those Tunisian samples so that's an fo now my next fo is also for the same christina another of her loves her favorite disney villain is maleficent and here at mount makes i mostly show crochet and yarn and everything kind of related within that but because it's mount makes there are sometimes other crafts that i kind of dabble in and i do feature on the channel once in a blue moon predominantly diamond painting so i have a few diamond painting videos here on the channel and on those diamond painting videos this has featured um a couple of times because it's been the project that i've been working on because christina's favorite disney villain is maleficent and i wanted to do some diamond painting and i thought it's an extra gift to give to christina so would you like to see my diamond painted maleficent in all of her glory now I'm going to have to put in Christina's card, sorry for stray dog and cat hair, because clearly I think one of them has been sitting on it. But all of the diamond dots have been sealed in. They're not going to fall out anytime soon. And here she is. And she's much more sparkly in real life. You can kind of see the light reflecting there. But honestly, it is like glistening diamonds in real life. There she is, up close. They always look better from a distance, though, guys. So I did complete the Maleficent. So if you are one of the few that watch the diamond paintings, there you go. It is finished, and it will be winging its way to Christina as well. So there we go. There's my other FO to show you. And they're both for the same person, which is awesome. It now means, guys, that I can stop off and get a box and fill a box finally for Christina's birthday. Like I said, she's my birthday twin, 22nd of March. That was nearly a month ago and I've only just finished making the stuff to put in her birthday box. Yeah, Mantha is late for everything, but you can celebrate your birthday whenever, right? And to be fair, my birthday box from Christina only arrived yesterday. So we are both a little behind schedule. Obviously Christina's will be later but I'm sure she will be just as happy to receive it then as she would have if it did arrive on her birthday. Um, but yes, I'm going to get a box and I'm going to fill it with all the goodies that I want to give to her. So the Piglet and Maleficent are two of the things going in there. Um, and there will be some other goodies as well. It's up to her whether she shows it on her channel. I'm pretty sure she will. But even if she doesn't, just know that amongst the piglet and the Maleficent diamond painting, there will be lots of other goodies for her as well. I try to spoil people when I can. So, I think those are the only FOs. Let me just double check. Yes, because I only have two more things to show and they are whips. Before I get on to the whips, can I just say... There has been progress made on the magazine makes 
uh, Monday sweater that I'm making. You might have seen a week or two ago that I put out a plea because I needed more yarn. I wasn't going to be able to complete it without more of that yarn. And it was ridiculous shipping just to get one. Um, I have had a couple of offers from people to try and get it to me. So on the Magazine Makes video next week, I will show you the progress that I got to. Um, and then it will be put on hold until the yarn comes in before I can complete it. So there is work that's been done on that one. Um, and the secret, the super secret hug that I am making for someone who may not even want to show it, I haven't actually touched. So there is no progress to show on that. Um, in the crochet and chat, you saw me make another six round hexagon for the NHAP um, hexagons for the charity. Haven't done any since that one that I crocheted with you. Obviously, if you saw yesterday's video, you will know that I finished tile 86 and I did tile 87. So that is more crochet that I have done since we last did a catch up. And if you didn't see yesterday's video, please do go over and check it out. Um, so, yes, a lot of crochet has been done, um, but a lot of it is still whips and some of them are more long term whips or I just haven't managed to get to. Um, and I'm not going to reshow the tiles because they have their own video on a Thursday. So the last two whips, we're going to do this one first. Now, normally I would do what I've done for the other things and say I'm using this pattern and I'm doing this and we're doing that, blah, blah, blah. I'm not actually going to tell you what it is that I'm making because my youngest boy, Max, came in the room when I was making it the other night. And he said, why are you making a, and it was an obscure object. And I went, I'm not. And he was like, well, it's what it looks like, which I'll explain in a little bit more detail in a second. So I thought it would be quite funny if I just showed you what I've made, but not show you what it's eventually going to be and see if anyone can guess what the object is going to be. Now for this one. I am using my 4.5 millimeter dots and I am using four weight Aran weight. No, I'm not. That's the other project. I am using DK three weight for this project. I am using white um, kind, kind of a feather, kind as a feather from Hobie. Let's get the label. Just kind feather. <laughs> <clears throat> that is from my stash 100% premium acrylic anti-pilling from hobby hobby however you want to say it 100 grams 3.5 ounces 235 meters or 257 yards lightweight three recommends a four millimeter needle and a 4.5 millimeter hook um, and it is just in the color white and it is currently on my wall genie and there it is because this is a whip and I'm still working on it. And then the black is again from my stash. It's Devante Jet Black Knitting Yarn. You can only get this here in the UK. It is from the range. Uh, great for beginners and experienced knitters. Strong, holds its shape and soft. Recommends a four millimeter needle and there's 242 meters. 100% acrylic. But let me just tell you this, it says strong, holds its shape and soft. I don't find it that soft. I mean, it's soft enough, but I've felt better. And it's black. I mean, there's not a lot you can say about black. But again, that's a deep dive in my stash. That was, I've had that for quite some time now. And then, like I said, I am not going to show you the pattern. But I am going to show you the part that Max saw there we go and he went mum why are you making a light bulb now i can see where the kid's coming from i mean i have been known to make some random stuff before i made a tea bag for example um so it's not entirely implausible that i'm not making a, a light bulb but i am not making a light bulb it made more sense to him when i told him what it was i'm not going to tell you what it is though because I want you to guess. I want you to guess what I might be making. Now, I have done two panels the same. 
there is obviously lots more work to do because this I only started a couple of days ago. So we've got one light bulb. <laughs> it's not. And I think I'm showing you the back. I don't know. Yes, there we go. Okay. So there's one. And then here's two. And that is all I have done for this project so far. But I want you to guess what I could in fact be making because there is lots more to add to that. And it's, it may be super obvious and lots of you are going to get it or it might be so obscure now that I've put light bulb in your head that you may not get where I'm going with it. And that's fine because next week, hopefully, more work will be done on it and it will become more obvious what in fact it is. So there we go i will go into pattern details and everything like that next week as well um so that is another whip another whip that i have started this week and then i have one more whip to show you and then you are free to go folks now another of my 24 goals for 2024 is to always have a cinnamon stitches pattern on my hooks I have a cinnamon stitches pattern on my hooks. I think this might be the sixth or seventh cinnamon stitches one already for this year, which is just fabulous. And I have made this before. I made it last year, but I want to make another one. And I think I might make more than one as well this year. This is the start of, where is it? Here it is. Now I'm still attached, so bear with me. This is the start of a blanket. And I haven't got very far, but I only started it last night, guys, and I only worked on it for an hour. It's quite long. Okay, I can't get it all on screen. Quite long. Not the longest, but long enough. And it's at least two or three inches tall. Get you a little bit closer. And this is, of course, the design that Jennifer um, put out for Boggy Creek blankets. You know, I made one last year and I'm making more because I did pledge at the end of last year that it would be absolutely amazing if I could double my efforts for Boggy Creek this year. Now, folks, we are fast approaching the end of April. They are going to start collecting again in August. My crochet time has been cut down drastically. And I'm still going to try and do 10 blankets because last year I did five. This year I want to do 10. Now, the bonus of it is, is that boggy blankets don't have to be huge. In fact, they have to be a certain size. They have to be 35 to 40 inches wide and 40 to 50 inches long. If you're making a square, 40 by 40. Um, so that is going to go in my favour because they're not as big as, you know, Afghans, um, you know, twin size, queen size, king size blankets, you know, all of those. This is a smaller blanket and the stitch is just wonderful. It is a, I can chill and watch my YouTube friends not really have to think or count intensively while making this. Cannot recommend it enough. I raved about it last year and that is why I've gone back to it. And it was specifically designed for Boggy Creek. Now, I'm showing you the white. This is emu classic aaron yes there's there's a full one with a yarn band there we go 100 grams uh approximately 210 meters or 229 yards 100 percent premium acrylic made in turkey they recommend five millimeter needles no hook recommendation um color white and it's machine washable up to 40 degrees do not iron dry clean using a you can tumble dry normal but do not bleach. So this is machine washable and machine dryable, which really, really helps because if you don't know what Boggy Creek is, may I suggest that you go over to Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2. She explains all about it. This is her baby. She's the one in charge of the blanket drive. Um, you can make blankets and send them to her. It's for a camp in Florida for um, chronically ill children who wouldn't normally get the opportunity to go to camp. It's fabulous, it's amazing. I will go into it in more details as I get closer to completing the 10 blankets. But for now, just either Google Boggy Creek Camp or just look at Nancy's channel. There'll be plenty of videos there to explain. Um, 
but because they're for sick kids and they need to be tough and durable and easily washable emu classic aran is perfect for that you get this from the knitting network here in the uk and yes they do ship worldwide again not sponsored or affiliated just giving you all the information and then i was going to leave the other color as a surprise but do you know what you had to wait two weeks for this catch up so i will spoiler myself this is from stash because you know i'm trying to do stash down 2024 and then more yarn in my stash is ice yarns i was gifted this by yarny fairy godmother i want to put it to good use this pattern that jennifer cinnamon stitches put out uses a solid and a variegated so obviously the white is my solid and then for the variegated i found these beauties on my shelf they are ice yarns monaco this is also a four-way i don't know if they do this anymore i've never bought from ice all of my ice has been gifted to me but if they do stock it there is the number but don't don't come for me if they don't stock it anymore because i don't know how long yarny fairy godmother had this and it's been in my stash for getting on for a year now i think but yes, yeah, 60361 Monaco Purple Pink Shades. I have eight little of the, eight of these little donuts. Um, and as you know, ice don't give you too much information. They recommend a five millimeter hook and needle. I am using a six millimeter, actually, my six millimeter dots, which is the pink one. I'll show you that in a second. This is also a four weight um they are 50 grams 60 meters because they don't give you yardage and it's 50 percent acrylic 50 percent polyamide so it's really nice and soft and squishy and it also says wash up to 30 degrees do not iron do not bleach and i reckon it could be tumble dryer um possible as well because it doesn't tell you not to and it's acrylic and polyamide so i can't imagine why not now these colours are much more vibrant in person, my camera is washing them out but as you can see they are the shades of pink and purple and I just thought paired with a classic white it will be a super fun blanket for somebody that is going to go to Boggy Creek and they get to keep their blanket after their stay and take it home for forever precious memories and it just gave me such a lovely feeling to be able to help and participate last year. That is why I have pledged to double my efforts this year. I ain't doubling it every year. I'm just going to put that out there now. Um, and if I don't make the 10, I'm not going to beat myself up about it either. It's what I would like doesn't mean it's what's going to happen. Um, so that's what I'm going to be pairing with the white. I will obviously leave the link to the tutorial for this, uh, Cinnamon Stitches tutorial, um, down in the description box below um and i'll obviously leave her channel as well i'm pretty sure most of you know her because she's just hit 40k but um just in case you haven't i'm gonna put it there jennifer's a wonderful woman i love her so much i'm not gonna super gush because i super gush every single time but i just i just love the lady see six millimeter dots favorite color matches my dressing gown i'm gonna be color coordinating <laughs> when i crochet um but yes love my dots love my clover moors super duper huge amounts and i obviously have um so i have the eight donuts of the ice i have the skein that i'm working from plus one two three one two three four more of the emu classic so hopefully that will be enough for one boggy creek blanket i really hope so and I'm excited to be making a start with this because if I am going to make the 10 blankets, I need to get a wriggle on, just saying. Um, and like I said, I adore this pattern. So yes, I have already made it, but I really enjoy it. I am more than happy to feature it a million times over. I highly recommend that you give it a go if you are looking for relaxing, non-stressful oh, crochet because that's what it is for me so i have now fully caught you up on all of the shenanigans with my crocheting of the last couple of weeks like i said not showing you the sweater till next week 
didn't do anything on the super secret hug i did do a tile and a half this week which i've already shown yesterday um i did one more of the hexagons but nothing since and you saw that hexagon on that video anyway i am going to frog my tunisian samples and that journey is over but i've had a blast and time to move on and the piglet and maleficent are ready to be boxed up and sent on their way to their new owner christina so i hope there was enough variation for you today i hope there was a lot for you to look at i really do appreciate your time i am now gonna have to get my hooks flying so that i have more stuff to show you this time next week but that's okay I'm never going to moan about crocheting. It is my therapy. It is everything to me. So there we have it. Please do join in tomorrow for driving video. I forgot what I was doing. You're going to come home from work with me in the car. Um, and if I'm going to go live, look out for the schedule on my channel. If there is a live scheduled, I will be going. If there is not a live scheduled, I won't be going um but yes oh and don't forget we are so super close to 2k there is a 2k giveaway going on on this channel please spread the word shout me out get me to my 2k because i think we actually only need four more people which is so exciting so i hope to reach it before the weekend and a little safety buffer would be awesome as well so with that i will let you get going enjoy your weekend whatever it is that you are going to be up to I will see you tomorrow. Well, you won't see me. You'll be seeing the beautiful scenery as I drive. But um, there is a video tomorrow. I may see you live. I may not. If not, I will see you again Monday. Um, yeah. So until then, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in me, loved ones, and get some good quality crafting time in. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. Bye, guys. Love you loads.